Dead Alice Valuations are delighted to welcome you to an audio recording of our article, How to Care for Your Jewellery, by Arania Turrell, one of the jewellery specialists at Dead Alice Valuations. When discussing cleaning and caring for one's jewellery, we often forget that metals need a bit of TLC and can also be damaged by everyday products and may result in discoloration. Gold, silver and platinum can all be affected by chemicals such as perfumes, hairspray and cosmetics. The discoloration results in the alloy, alloy being other metals mixed with gold, silver or platinum, being affected by the chemicals. The gold itself remains intact. Why has my bracelet turned green? This is due to the copper used as an alloy with the gold. It does not mean your jewellery is fake gold, simply that it has been exposed to chemicals and perhaps even sweat. Other very sensitive components of jewellery affected by chemicals are pearls. Pearls are porous and will absorb whatever they are in contact with. Cosmetics will damage your pearls permanently. Over time, they can lose their moisture and result in cracking and discoloration. One can place a wet cotton next to pearls to help with moisture and should always avoid swimming in chlorinated pools with pearls. Other porous gems include turquoise and opal, which also need to be treated with extra attention. Discoloration does not always happen as a result from exposure to chemicals. Just as old paintings are shunned from sunlight and kept at a cool temperature, certain gemstones should also be kept in the dark and in a controlled temperature environment to avoid fading. These gems include amethyst, topaz, shell cameos and kunzite. So how should one clean the jewellery? The use of ultrasonic cleaners can be an answer. However, this should only be used when advised to do so by an industry professional. Ultrasonic cleaners generate tiny vibrations which loosens dirt on and around gems. In some cases, these vibrations can damage gemstones. For example, those with surface reaching fractures and which have been filled with oils, resin or substance filler. Pearls and organic gems such as amber, coral and ivory should not be placed in the ultrasonic. The ultrasonic is a great way to clean diamonds, which attracts the most dirt and grease out of all the gems. Please seek professional advice before using this equipment. But after a few minutes in the machine, it's like getting a brand new piece of jewellery. If I can't use the ultrasonic, what are the safest ways to clean jewellery? The oldest tricks can sometimes really be the best ones. Two simple ingredients are needed to clean most gems. Washing up liquid, not detergent, and warm water. Dipping your jewellery in this mixture and letting it sit for a while will soften the accumulated dirt and allow it to fall off. One can also use a soft bristle toothbrush to remove the remaining dirt. Make sure you then rinse the soap off the jewellery. The toothbrush should not be used on pearls as this can scratch the delicate surface, called the nacre, of the pearl. Instead, one can use a makeup brush and use the same ingredients of soapy warm water to clean any dirt. Simply air dry your strand of pearl on a clean, soft piece of fabric, whilst avoiding touching the string and dirtying it. If you notice your string is dirty and brittle, make sure to have it restrung regularly to avoid any disaster. How should one store their jewellery? As mentioned, pearls, opals, coral, turquoise and shell should not be kept in a dry or hot environment. Silver should be placed in anti-tarnish pouches and should never be in contact with rubber bands. I always recommend separating gem set jewellery from each other as they can scratch each other's surfaces. This also applies when travelling. Throwing all of one's jewellery in the same pouch is just asking for trouble. Small individual plastic zip pouches are ideal and jewellery boxes are perfect to make sure your jewellery is kept out of harm's way. It can get overwhelming when trying to remember how to care for everything in one's possession. In simple words, I would advise to wear and enjoy your jewellery as much as possible, and it should bring you more joy than fear of damaging it. So, if worry takes over enjoyment, it might be time to get your jewellery appraised and perhaps even sell for someone else to cherish. Thank you for listening. You can read this article and many more at darevaluations.co.uk. Search for Dare Dallas to find us on Instagram and LinkedIn, where our team will keep you updated on market trends and our valuation service. For more details on our valuation service, please call us on 01883 722 736 or email inquiries at darevaluations.co.uk.